Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the TikTok glitch warp you see from manga edits. Um, I've already done the transitions because I literally already have a tutorial on this, so I'm not going to show that. It's just this. I just rushed it so you don't really need to worry about um, the glitches. Okay, so we're first actually going to start off with warp waves, just the default one. And then what we're basically going to do is you can either apply it to the clip or if you use like SP21 or 22, you can just do your transition shakes and effects on an adjustment event like this. But some, not everyone's on there, so I'm just going to use the clips, which already have my effects on. And what I'm basically going to do is add the defo default warp waves. And it looks like this. I'm going to change the angle to whatever I want. So if I want it horizontal, it's going to be 90. If I want it upwards, it's going to be zero. You have to change this like all the time. Now I'm going to up the apart the frequency, lower the amplitude so I can kind of see what it looks like on the character. Then you don't really want to do it like that because that just looks ugly. We're going to have it horizontal like that. You can fiddle around with the display angle, uh, angle to make it like look a bit more interesting. Like that. And then you'll just basically fiddle around with it until you get something that you want. You can even make it go more diagonal if you'd like to. This is going to be your default setting and then you're going to animate the amplitude. Uh, keep it um, like that at the start. You might want it higher, who knows, but you can barely see it with the shake, so yeah. Then you're going to higher, lower it to zero at the end. So it's like that. But before we graph it, we're going to add video glitch at the same time. Um, I have this preset. What I'm basically going to do is I'm going to give away this preset. Uh, it will come as an XML file, not like a preset file. And what you're going to do is make a random preset in BCC Video Glitch. Literally just go on default, fiddle with effects, and just name it something and then save it. And then uh, download the file I'll give you in Google Drive. Go Documents, OFX Presets. There's going to be a lot, so Video Glitch, because this is all your saved effects. Go BCC Video Glitch, filter, then put the file I gave you here. Should be simple, so it's small. Okay, what I'm going to do, now that I've added it, why is that being weird? Ah, glitch duration, put it all the way up. Because otherwise it's not going to show till the end of the clip. And we're just going to stretch this out uh, as much as I want, basically. Put that behind the shake. If we turn off the shake just to see how it looks, that's how it looks. Uh, if you put the warp waves in front, I guess it still looks good if you wanted to, it to look like that. Because yeah, it still looks really glitchy or you can stick it in front like this. So it's really up to you here. Um, if you want to change the angle, somewhere down there I think it's shift. And skew. No. I don't know, I, I forgot where you could change the angle. You can change the angle somewhere. I completely forgot where. But you can you can find it for yourselves. Um, so yeah, you animate your glitch intensity. Just make sure this comes underneath my warp waves. Put it down to zero. Like that. And then what we're going to do is make it like very low at the start so you can see the glitch but we want it to end quickly so we're going to do that animate both with the same graph 
like this. And it should look like that. Obviously, if you want it more like aggressive, then you just up the value and do what you want with it. Like if you wanted it to glitch after you've uh, added it, you could just animate it frame by frame if you wanted to glitch a bit more like that. Like that, because you're kind of just animating it to glitch, like a one framer. So it's like another thing you can do. I don't want to do that. I did it again. Like that. Then with the shake. This one has a lot of blur, so maybe you want a lot more, but you can basically see what I mean with this. If I just lowered the value of the shake. And then hide the settings here. Hide them more. Like that. There we go. And then I can just copy and paste this. Go play it. Obviously you don't have to animate the glitch like that. This is just if, if you wanted to do it that way. And yeah, I hope this is helpful. Yeah, goodbye.